welcome back to Cranking Out Crafts. My name again is Puna, and today we are making the second part of our summer craft program. We are doing this awesome paracord bracelet. It's actually a little bit different weave than ones that you may have seen around. So I'm going to show you how to do this weave uh, good for this summer, and it's a brand new thing. So you want to come around on this side because it's going to be a little bit harder to see. And this one is cool because we're going to use two different colors of paracording. It doesn't matter which end you start with, but I'm going to thread my paracord into the buckle like this. It doesn't matter which, which side of the buckle you use. Um, this part though does have to be long enough to fit around your wrist and then give it like an inch extra to an inch and a half extra for space and tying. So that's actually a lot of room, but we want to at least make sure that this is long enough to fit around our wrist plus a little bit more. Okay, so now that we've got our paracord in, into our buckle, um, we're going to work with the shorter ends in the front. So what I'm going to do is turn this all around so that the short ends are facing me and the longer ends are in the back. So to start off with, I'm going to take my left hand cord, which in this one is the blue cord, and I'm going to go over itself and under the purple, like this. And that's going to be your very first, first move. Make sure it's under both of these purple ones, including the short and the long one. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is take the purple and it's going to go over itself, like this, under the blue back over the blue and get that one out of the way under itself so it's going to look like this okay a good thing to remember when doing this weave is that both of your working ends are going to end up being off to the right so you're always going to kind of end in this direction both of them the next step we're going to do is going to take the blue <coughs> and go over the purple under the other blue on this side and then over the blue and under the purple and this is going to be the continuing pattern for the weave the only difference being that we're just switching out the colors depending on which one went last let me see if I can show you this without getting my fingers in the way. So over, under, get this purple one in line. Okay, over, under, over, and under, like that. And then pull kind of tight. Make sure everything is coming off to the right. Okay. And that's what your weave is going to start to look like. It's a little bit flatter than the normal, uh, I think they call it a cobra stitch weave that you see a lot. So it's kind of a nice weave. Plus you get two colors, makes this little chevron pattern. And this is what it's going to look like in the end. To finish off your bracelet, all you need to do is put your ends through the other, the other side of the buckle. So they're going to go in like this. Just make sure that your buckles are facing the right direction so that they'll, they'll click together nicely. But, so we're gonna put our short ends through the buckle and then they're gonna weave in underneath all this, all the wrapping, including these two. So cut everything off, weave them into the back like this and don't forget to use a lighter to light the ends so that they don't fray. And that's it. 